right, hopefully it is recording. And we are going to welcome everyone to block 10 of Adventures in Log Cabin. I want to say welcome to everyone who is already here. I see Miss Sharon is on. And Miss Janice is on too. Where's Miss Janice? Did she say hello? Did I not catch her? Hello, Miss Janice. Hey, how are ya? Anyways, okay, I'll finish my opening here. Um, welcome to Adventures in Log Cabin. We are on block 10, which is the block behind me. It is called Wild Geese. I did it in first the dark colors, which is what we're going to be demonstrating today. And I've also done it in my V fabrics, which is done in the yellows and the blacks. And I did it uh, light as the center and working its way out. But today we're going to be working on the black one, the black. So that's, that's what we're going to be working from. And I have to tell you, I thought I had mine cut out and realized last night I did not. So I stayed up till one o'clock in the morning cutting my fabric. So if anybody else feels like they were definitely behind the eight ball on that one, I'm with you. This is the, um, the kit um, that we are working on. Not actually the kit because this is, there's no more of this fabric. This fabric is gone. Um, this is what we're working on for the um, embroidery program or the embroidery class that we're doing on Saturday the 20th. Again, it is very, very minimal seating. There's only a couple of spots left and um, the cost of the, of the class is $20 or $40. $20 if you want to supply your own fabric, $40 if I supply your kit. And your kit will come with everything you see here. All of the, um, this is a vinyl, this is a thick vinyl. There's a mesh, you'll have one mesh window, three vinyl windows. It'll come with all the zippers. It will come with the fabric. Um, and, and I'll even supply the backing fabric. And of course, all the batting that comes in, in it as well. So. Um, for 40, for 20 extra dollars, you get everything you need to um, do your, to do your um, class that day. Um, you will need to bring your own machine. Both of my machines have been rented out. Um, I have two that I bring with me and they have already been called on um, and reserved. So you'll have to bring your own machine, but we do have somebody that can lift your machine in and out of your car. Um, so if you can't, you know, if, if lifting is a problem for you, as long as you got somebody can put it in your car, when, and when you're at home, then I got somebody that will take it out and put it back in. All right. Okay. Oh, and what I was telling earlier is that fabric actually matches this, which is the sweet pea bag I did a couple years ago. No, a year ago. I think about a year ago. And I love this thing. I added, I don't know if the pockets were originally in there, but I went ahead and added pockets and everything to it as well. Um, it has zippers. So... It's just really cool. I really like it. But these fabrics match these fabrics, and I was just kind of had an epiphany when I was working it, and I thought, oh, it would be so neat if I make them both match. So they do. Anyways, okay. If you're interested in the class and you're one of the guild members who are close by, or if you're out of state and you want to come down for the weekend and spend the weekend here in sunny Sarasota or Bradenton, because I'm in Bradenton, but the class will actually be in Sarasota, um, feel free to come down and... Uh, Reserve your day at the class. It'll be just kind of like a nice little uh, cozy uh, sewing room that we'll be working out of with um, at Miss Claudine's sewing studio. And we're just going to have a fun day. It's going to be from right around 9 o'clock in the morning till 5 o'clock at night. And we're going to be working on that lovely thing. And I can't wait because once I got going on, it's like, oh, this is easy. So you're going to love it. All right, enough about that. Let's get started. Does anybody have any questions that I can answer for you? I move my drink out of the way. Can you hear me okay? I'm going to assume everybody can hear me because nobody said, I can't hear you. All right. Let's start with the first square. We're going to start with E. This is E. It is the only, it is the smaller of the squares. So this is the two and whatever inches. And again, don't forget, I'm trying to sell my patterns online, so please don't give away all the measurements. And then we're going to take those four triangles. That's where we had to cut that big K square and cut it into fours. Remember, cut it diagonally twice. Well, that's what we're that's what these are for. We're going to put those on right now. So we're going to take right sides together 
And again, we talked about, you know, being able to find the center of our square. And to do that, really all you need to do is put your, put your fabric together and make a crease. And by putting a crease in your fabric, you'll find the center. And you can use that to put your point on and then just kind of slide it up to the edge. Okay? And Yeah, looks good. Okay. And you'll find the wood iron in my Etsy shop. I did actually put those up by the way and I only have I have some a couple of light wood ones mostly all I have are the dark woods I have about six dark woods maybe there's four left in the shop um, so just let me know and of course the stilettos I do have a couple of those left you'll find those in my Etsy shop as well all right let's go over here we're gonna now the one thing you could do is you can go ahead and put them both on at the same time I have done that several times That looks good. Okay. Looks a little off on the edge, but I don't know. It says it's centered. Okay. Let's come over here. And let's stitch down both sides. Let me turn my phone down. I got Miss Donna coming today. I'm so excited. I haven't seen my friend in a while. And um, so we're going to, she's coming over and we're going to hang out for a couple of weeks. Let's press those open. Then we can create that seam down the other side. I wonder what I did with my little four inch. Oh well. We'll use the big one. I'll tell you I've torn through my torn through my little space, sewing space over here looking for something and now I've really displaced my life. Okay. Bring my little iron over. We're going to flip that over. And I like to use the wood iron to get a nice crease in there before I iron. And that way it doesn't surprise me when I go to... Um, open it up and iron it because it has folded back in on itself. And yes, I love my Aliso iron, um, but I do have several different kinds of small irons. Um, it's just my Aliso is the one I use the most of. My kids got it for me as a, as a Mother's Day gift. I just want to make sure it's straight. And I want to say thank you. You guys have been great about um, posting your blocks with me and letting them, letting me put them on my page. And um, again, I wasn't aware that when I, I you know, I'm just. I'm not just one. I'm not one of those people that understands all the stuff about the videography and pages and groups and stuff. And so, by creating a page for my SRQ quilters, it um, it doesn't allow other people to post to it. 
I mean, I guess that's a good thing, but, you know, it makes it hard for stuff like this. So I may have to actually create a group for this, but I kind of hate having too many groups and pages out there. That's kind of annoying because then I have a hard time keeping track of everybody. All right, let's go ahead and stitch that down. And if you notice, when you start here, let me let me show you what I'm talking about. Excuse me. If you notice, when you start the stitch of the second row, it starts should start right here in this V. That tells you that that you've done a good seam. That you're starting where you're supposed to, and you're going to end on that quarter of an inch right there, and that should be on both sides. Okay, so that's a good way to know whether or not you're, you're starting out your block in a good way. Oh, hang on. I was doing that. Um, oh, something going, across, going on across the pond there. Um, I don't even know where I was going before I heard that yell. Anyways, just want to make sure it's staying where it's supposed to. Pull the pin. I watched some of my past videos and I'm like, wow, I run over a lot of pins. I run over a lot of pins. I'm just glad that the my brother's sewing machines are tougher than I am. Oop, okay. Now I changed threads from using my usual Ari thread because I found that it uncurls real easily and I'm using a different thread that I do like, but it does still unthread once in a while. Not like my Ari, I was always having to rethread my Ari. Okay, Let's start back at the beginning. Which makes me sad because I really do like our our fill thread, and I'll use it for all kinds of other things. Okay, and as you can see, for the most part, our thread wound up in the, just the right spots. All right, let's come on over here. Go ahead and trim that off a little bit. And we're going to fold that open. I know we have a UFO going on at, at our guild. Did anybody get a UFO done? You don't even have to tell me what it is. Just tell me, did you get a UFO done this week? Not me. I didn't turn in one just because I've been so crazy busy that I haven't really um, sat down to find out. Because I have plenty of UFOs. There is no doubt about that. Okay. And then we're just gonna, I just, just cause of those little things just drive me crazy. I'm just gonna kinda knock them off here real quick. Now, if you don't have it on right, or you're not sure, leave them on until you are, you are absolutely ready to move on to the next spot. Cause if you trim those off and then you have to rip out the seam and do it again, you're gonna be messed up. See, I try to use leaders and enders to keep my needle threaded. Well, that's a good idea. That's definitely a good idea. I just never think of that. I wish I did. All right, let's see. Let me put this here.
don't pull too hard because there is a bias on this and I can feel it pulling when I try to put it underneath the needle. So just guide the fabric, let the, the, um, the feed dogs do the job of pulling it in for you, okay? Because otherwise you're gonna wind up stretching it and you don't wanna do that either. Now let's come back over here. Okay, so once we get this round of fabrics done, then we're gonna go to the K fabric. This is your back, the background fabric. I feel like that didn't come down far enough. I'm gonna come back over and give it just one more stitch. I feel like I didn't stay on task. That really felt like it was just way too wide. Okay. I feel a little better about that. I don't know. Okay. And then we're going to grab our, our iron. All right. So this is our first round. And I can already tell it's going to be a little short here, a little shy there and possibly here. So that's okay, you know. So what if I lose a point? Okay, so we're gonna grab our shortest fabric in our K, and you should have two of them. And they should be five and whatever the direction said, five inches and something. Just pick a side here. We're gonna stitch it down and then pick a side over, and then you're gonna put this one on the other side. And believe it or not, they, they, it looks like they match up pretty good. So my point, my size must be pretty, pretty accurate. Hmm. I know. I sound amazed, don't I? Okay. And again, I'm just going to leave these on for right now, just so I make sure that when we're done, it looks good. Okay. Let's move it on over to the needle. do the other side. All right. Now let's see how we did. Yep, I definitely lost a point there. And kind of lost a point there too. That's okay. That's okay. Let's just keep moving on. I'm looking back at the ones on the wall and I'm looking at them going, wow, I did much better on those than I did on this one. Okay, let's grab the next one. And that should be the next longest one. Nope, grab the next one. there. All right, so the second fabric. So what I'm thinking is when once we get these sewn on and flipped over, then we're going to use the the uh, second fabric here. This one we're using the third, the third one. So this should be your seven and seven eighths. I know, but in, I want to make sure I, that you know which one you're using. So the first one we used was the five and one fourth, and the second one is going to be your seven and seven eighths. So let's use those two. Now hopefully I have this right because, like I said, I, I checked all this and as far as I could tell it was right. 
I turned out right on the ones I did. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm a bit scatterbrained. I'm still, still not all here, I don't feel like. And I apologize, I should be here. I should be here in, in whole heart, and I am, my heart's here. I just, it's just broken right now. And here we go. You know, I have a couple of cheap tweezers in my little sewing box and they're just, they're useless. I should just bite the bullet and get the right tweezers. All right, so that point looks pretty good. Oh, uh, yo, I think I need some caffeine. Maybe that's what I need. Maybe I need some caffeine. colors are so pretty well hello miss claudine welcome welcome glad you could make it where are we now we're still doing the first basically the first round of background colors well no i guess that's the second round this would have been the first round right here and then we did the colors on the corners and now we're doing the first round so now we're going to work on this next piece and i need we're going to grab one of these and let's take a look and see if it lines up. If it doesn't, then we know we definitely have a problem here. And that looks like that's going to work out perfectly. Okay. So we're going to take four different colors and we're going to put them in the corner just like this. Now you have an option. You can stitch down the center using a drawn line, which I've done that plenty. Excuse me. And let's see, I got one of my friction markers. Friction, friction, I don't know what they call it. And we can just draw a line right here. So you can follow this line and I would go on just on the outside of the line, just right out here. Okay. Or you can follow the points on your sewing machine. Now let me come over here and show you what points I'm referring to. All right. So if you're looking at the, the line here on mine, I have this red line and that's where I would follow. Now, here's what I would say is when you're stitching don't watch the needle get it started but don't watch the needle watch down here and make sure this line stays and no matter what you're doing do not do not lose sight of this line if you're watching this point coming across that red line you should be fine you should stay right on right on your target okay so get it going and then watch this point right here Because you'll see that if your eye wanders away, it's not lined up anymore. Just watch it go. Watch it follow that line. Okay. I'm going to, I don't feel like threading it again, so I'm going to pull. All right. And then if you fold it over, it should match up into your corner. Just like that. I feel like I started it. 
crooked. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and iron that over. On this one, I am actually trying to push it out a little bit. All right, let's grab another color. Let's see, what else haven't we done? We haven't done blue. Let's do a blue. I got a blue right here. Nah, let's do red. Okay. So line that red up on there. Just like that, looks beautiful. I'm gonna use a pen to keep it on there. I'm not gonna mark my thing because I don't want to do that. We're gonna come over here to the sewing machine. Okay, I know. We will absolutely make do. Oh, dropped my UV light on the floor and now I'm stepping all over it. All right, get it going. And again, just watch that come across that red line. This is a washi tape that you can buy from any of your local quilt stores. Or well, I say that, and I don't know which ones actually carry it, but I know I got mine from... I think I got mine from Amazon, which, guys, I am working on an Amazon store so that anything that I'm using, any that I got from Amazon, I'll make sure I have it listed in my Amazon store. It's a little bit of a work in progress. They made it sound so simple, but once I got started on putting, you know, getting my information together, it was, uh, it was a little bit of a task. So, hopefully... All right, let's come on over here. I'm going to iron that down. And then on the next two, we can just place all of them at the same time. We'll just place them all at the same time. So let's see. How about yellow? Let's do yellow next. I'm going to iron that. It looks a little bit funkified. Yeah, don't worry, Miss Sheila. If, it's, if there's a problem with the pattern, it was my fault. I'm sure of it. Okay, as you can see, I have a little bit hanging off the edge here. I'm going to go ahead and trim that off. And, y'all, I've cut up some of my squares. Now I think I'm going to wind up being short squares. But, again, that's my fault. That's not your fault. I apologize. My, um, my head's not all in the game. We lost a dear family member and it's just, it's really rattled my cage. And I try not to talk about it because if I do, I'll start crying. And I don't want to cry. I did enough of that. All right, let's come on over here to the camera. See, and I done said, let's put them all on. All right, let's take a second and we're going to put the other one back on. The other one on. Let's do the, let's go ahead and do the blue. Here, we'll just slide that on. Okay. Make sure that's all straight. Keep your eye on the end. Try not to let it go away because you will start to move. Okay. And then we're going to do the other one. Yeah, I really wish I was more one of those people that do that leader and ender thing. I really think it would be beneficial. Uh, but I never quite got the hang of it. I'm going to pull this up. I don't feel, it doesn't feel right. I 
feel like I started it too high up. Yeah, my scene ripper. I don't know if any of you have ever used these. These are um, those eyebrow um, razors that you can get from the dollar store. I love them. I use them all the time. It's part of my favorite things collection. If you've ever been to one of the retreats where I did a, a box of my favorite things, you will almost always find some of those in my box. Okay. Fold those over, make sure they match up. That looks good. And looks good. All right. Mm, excuse me. This is such a pretty block. I just, I love the vibrant colors and I love the, um, the way it works up. I'm uh, just, for whatever reason today, I just can't seem to, um, can't catch any ground on it. Can't gain any ground. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and trim off. Let's move this out of the way for a sec. And we're going to go ahead and trim off. Let's see, we need eight more. Eight more? Yeah, we just need eight more. Oh, I think we're good. Yeah. I think we're good. If you only cut, like, four of your other colors, I think we're good. I think we'll make it to the end, unless I've screwed up the uh, size on those long black ones, which... God help me, I think I did. Now I've been known to cut this with just a pair of scissors and not necessarily use a ruler or and a rotary color. So whatever you're comfortable with on this, I mean that's that's all that matters is just doing what you're comfortable with. And there we go. All right, now let's add those next ones on. I don't know what I did, Sheila. I'm sorry. I, I'm sure I screwed it up. All right, let's come on over here, get these down, and get back to work. Maybe I'll redo this whole video. <laughs> redo this whole video when I've got it straight. Figure out what the heck I did. And I'd hate to think that one side was off from the other one because they should. It should be square. Whatever it is, it should be square. Oh my gosh! I need to start laughing at myself today. I need to laugh at myself today. I really do. I do have a little bit of, you know, information about, you know, Nora's funeral and stuff, but I don't think I can talk about it right now. So I'm going to, um, I'll just save that and put that in um, a message in Facebook. Um, and I, I know you guys are, you've been wonderful and I know you understand. It's just today, and I'm okay. And thankfully the next one fits. So let's grab the next one. And we're gonna put that one here and this one down here. 
and they fit. Thank goodness. I need I needed to catch a break here. All right, let's take them on over to the sewing machine and get them sewn down. All right, there's one. Um, the last video I meant to mention, I wanted to thank you guys so much for everything you've done. Um, you've been coming on this video every week on Sundays and taking a couple, a couple hours out of your day to spend with me. You've been shopping at my shops um, and supporting me the best way you know how, which is one, to be in attendance and, and two, to to patronize me whenever you can. And then you, I just want to make sure you know how much, how much I appreciate it. Each week you guys are at the top of my thoughts. I think about the block coming up and I think about making sure that I'm ready for you. And then I'm, got my emails out and that you're first on my list and I just want to say thank you again for for everything for everything you do for the encouragement I don't think I could do all of that without you all right y'all give me just a quick second here okay thank you miss Margaret thank you for being on today I didn't see you on the on any of the comments so I'm so glad you could join us today I'm trying to, let me straighten myself up here. <sighs> okay. I am I'm going to be very gr glad to have my friend coming to visit me. We've been talking about it for months, getting her over here. She was actually supposed to come before Christmas and um, some things that came up in her life and she wasn't able to come. And you know, she's still dealing with the aftermath of that car accident where someone who was distracted um, slammed into her and caused her some severe, serious, serious pain. And um, she's, she's just now kind of on the back side of it. Um, she doesn't have the back spasms anymore, but she does, um, she actually has a few memory issues going on that she didn't have before. And um, her doctor told her that was not uncommon. I'm like, hey, yikes. Well, what can I blame my memory issues on? I want to blame them on something. You know, come on, help, help a sister out here. Miss Claudine, best thing you can do is go in and go back out or go out and then come back in again. Um, because as near as I can tell, we are up and running and nobody's frozen. Uh, as near as I can tell besides you. If anybody else is frozen, please let me know. Okay, now we're going to do that again with those little corners. Let's pick a couple different colors here. Let's put this one on this side. Yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. Um, just going to poke that on there. And then let's see. Uh, we'll put the green over here. And then... Let's do the purple. Let's do purple right there. I shall, probably shouldn't worry about what's where. I should probably just put it on and not worry about it. And then we'll put the red over here. How's that? All right, let's get all those on there. We're just going to move it on over to the sewing machine and we're going to do all four at one time. How's that sound? Okay. Yeah, I don't know what happened with that first strip. That I'm sure that was my fault. Maybe I just pulled too tight on one of the um, triangles that I was trying to put on the side of that block. I don't know. I don't know. It 
Okay. Then we're going to line this up down here. And I love my stiletto from Craig. He did such a beautiful job on that. Okay. Go to the next square. And guys, believe it or not, we're almost done. This actually works up really quickly when you have someone who is in their right mind. I just don't, not necessarily in my right mind today. But I don't like putting off the classes either or the, the lives. I mean, I really enjoy doing them. And it, I'd like to say it takes my mind off things, but I feel like my mind still isn't right where it should be. I feel like I don't have that lined up well. Of course, that is the side I kind of fixed. Oh, wonderful, Miss Claudia. I was hoping you would tell me you were when you were back on. I think after this, I'm going to do a big old cup of coffee. I just really feel like I can have, I could really use some caffeine. I'm checking my corners. They don't look too bad. I'm not uh, particularly happy with the way they turned out, but they're they're pretty good. They're livable. I remember hearing um, finished is better than perfect. I do like finished, and I do like perfect. Too bad I can't always get both at the same time. Are everybody's strips turning out okay? Am I the only one having an issue? I feel like I'm the only one having an issue. All right, let's see. Yeah, that one looks pretty good. All right, last one on this side. Did everybody, did anybody ever experience those days where you just feel like you just, if you could just start it over again, you know, just wake up one more time and try out all over again. I think today's that day for me. All right. Yeah, let's flip it over. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yep, those last two looked a lot better. All right, let's switch it over to the other camera. Camera, camera. <sighs> I don't know. I think hearing from my friend just kind of helped give me a little boost. You guys are so wonderful. I cut out too many triangles, so I need more blocks. I'm so sorry. That's my fault. It is absolutely my fault. I am so sorry, Miss Diane. I was so confused on that first round. I, I honestly don't even remember what I did that first round um, with the with the B one. I had to have done something, right? All right, let's flip that over. So it must have been, but the colors are different. Well, I can't go by that on my B fabric because I used the same one. But on the other ones, the colors were different. So, so you use four, eight, 12. And I think you were supposed to cut 16. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Yeah, 16. So, you had four, eight, 12, 16. So yeah, yeah, you would have only used, you would have used four that you would have cut in half and half of them, half of the uh, square you wouldn't used for anything. Um, it would have just been um, extra. Uh, but the other 12, you used the whole square. I need to write that down on there. I need to. So just pick four squares and, and cut them in half and use half. But the others, weird how the measurements worked out exactly the same. Or maybe that's what I did wrong. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to drive myself crazy trying to figure it out right now. So let's not worry about it right now, and I will figure it out. And... Uh, have a little extra information on there when you get your finished pattern. 
Monday morning at 10. And again, you don't have to use a rotary cutter. You can use a pair of scissors. You can just kind of rotary cut down the side like this. Just keep your fingers out of the way. I've done that many a time. Doesn't have to be a perfect quarter of an inch. All right, let's get that out of the way. All right, y'all, let's see. Cross your fingers. So you're going to take the second to the last and see if it matches. It does. Yay. <laughs> it fits. It fits. All right. Let's get that on there. And then I'm going to move this out of the way. Change cameras. I think that's why I try to make sure I include a little bit of extra fabric is just in case something goes wrong. And, uh, you know, I'll be honest, inevitably something always goes wrong. At least for me anyways. I cut too much fabric or not enough. Like I've um, I signed up to do the um, whip stitch mystery quilt in Greece. She's doing the Greece one, the one in Greece. You know, the kitty, the kitty series. Anyways. I don't know, you may not even know what I'm talking about. So 2024 mystery, I signed up to do that. That's a block of the month. And I made sure I bought extra. Because I sometimes when I get to working on those block of the months, it's I just, I don't know. I always feel like I cut the wrong direction or I didn't see it right or whatever. So I always try to make sure that anytime I do a pattern, I do a little bit extra fabric. Try not to do too much because, you know, you don't want to waste money on more fabric than you really need, especially now when fabric is so stinking expensive. Which I still have some in my shop that I'm keeping the same price because I just, I don't think we should have to raise up the price on stuff that's already, you know, was a lower price no matter what. Okay. I do see where there's a little spot over on one spot and one on the other, uh, which I'll trim that down. All right, let's get this. Now it looks like this one comes down, it winds up, let's see, I have to talk to that boy. I don't have one of those. <laughs> you go get it, Miss Claudine. I, I love mine. I love my, my stiletto and my wood iron and all the things that he's blessed the, um, the guild with and um, uh, for me to put up on my Etsy shop. I just, I'm just so grateful because he's, he's very talented and he's so busy and he, always, and he still finds time. Still finds time. He's a sweetheart. And he takes good care of his mama. So here's our, here it is. We put this one on, we ironed it down. Yeah, I'm sorry. And then we're gonna put this one on here and it matches up, that one matches up. And then we're gonna put this one on here and it actually has a little bit of fabric over. And this is what I was talking about. The, um, the fabric is, it could be the triangles. Either I didn't iron them out flat enough or Lord knows what I did. Like I said, I'm a little discombobulated. All right, camera. Back over to the other camera. I suppose if I put my glasses on, maybe I'd do better. <laughs> oh, okay, that was funny to me. I seem to always wear them on my head, but I almost never put them on. They're actually for more for um, uh, the computer work and reading from a distance. Um, so if I need to see from here to the sewing machine, then the glasses would be helpful for that. But not just for like 
every time I need a pair of glasses. I've got reading glasses for that too. Just making sure I'm still straight here. Alrighty. Camera, got it. All right. Yeah, last night when I was cutting the fabric, I actually cut one square of everything and then I looked, I was like, oh, I need two of everything. So I had to go back and cut it again. Maybe I'm just in a brain fog. What do you think? See, and I feel like that just didn't stretch out enough. And yet, this is not the side that's messed up or not long enough. Okay, now let's place our last four, and I think, I don't know, I got another yellow, but I don't know if I want to use it. Definitely have a blue, so we can put the, ooh, oh, I dropped my, I dropped my pink. Let me put pink over here. Yeah, let's put pink over here. So we're going to put the pink right here. Okay. KK. We're going to put the blue right here. Yeah, let's put the blue over here. Let's see, we have red and red. Red and yellow. Red and yellow. You know, it's funny how things trigger a memory and I remember singing a song as a kid, red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. And that just popped in my head and just played out the whole tune in like two seconds. And I definitely believe that's something that we should all live by. Okay, let's finish this last one. Let's get it done. We're going to straighten that out. I feel like it's not fitting on here very well on this one. Now that that's okay. That's better. I think. I think it's um because it's curled up here, curled up here at the corner. So it's making it look like it's not going to fit. How's everybody doing on this block?
All right, here we go. Last, last square. Okay. Just like that. Gotta grab a hold of these things and trim them off. Or at least I do. Trim these off real quick. Iron these down, cut them out, and then we should be done. Oh, lost my point. Doing, yeah, doing okay, Miss Laura. I'm so glad. I'm so sorry for all the confusion on some of these blocks. Um, it was kind of funny because when I was doing the last pocket for the um, piece behind me, the um, the windowed organizer, I was going, I was doing great, man. I had three of them down. I thought, oh, I got this. But I had to set it aside because it was getting late and I had to stop. So I come back to it. I, I think it was even the next day. Came back to it and I was like, oh my gosh, what did I do? <laughs> what goes here? And it just, you know, some days you just have those, those brain farts. Like right now where I forgot the camera again. Those brain farts where you just, okay, ironed everything down. And it just, you know, things just don't click into place. Probably of all my videos, this one is the the messiest. That's all I got to say. It's just the messiest. I feel like I'm all over the place today. And I hope y'all will forgive me. I'm, I'm a wreck. But again, I just, I want to keep going. I want to keep... I just don't want to think about things, that's all. And this is the best way not to think about things. Be around your friends. Be around people that mean a lot to you. And just share and love on them. And let them love on you. So I want to appreciate you coming and, and letting me love on you today. And loving on me. Even though I feel like I have been a terrible hostess to you guys today. But I'm grateful you're here. And I think that is an absolutely beautiful block. And I hope that even though it was kind of crazy. That you've enjoyed your time today. Excuse me. All right. Just did. I definitely hit a wrong button. <laughs> Y'all, thank you so much for going with me on this journey today. Um, this, this has meant a lot to me um, that you stuck with me today, even though it was a very discombobulated block. I don't know what, what I was, where my brain is at. And again, I haven't even measured it because I'm afraid to. I'm pretty sure it's going to be about 13 inches. So just if it's if it's off by its, and it's not 12 and a half, just trim it down to 12 and a half. And for those of you who are, <laughs> have problems with some of those quarter inch seams, this may have worked out wonderfully for you. And just pat yourself on the back. You did a great job. Um, here's what it looks like. I love this one. You know, the last few that we've done have just been absolutely beautiful. The first couple were just simple and easy, and they're going to add to the to the whole design of the quilt. But these last ones, these are these are just beautiful. Next one is a little, a little more challenging, but not much. It's just going to look like it. Um, I think you're going to have fun with it. Uh, I still have to check the numbers on it, check the sizes. Um, just one more time, uh, because somehow I wound up with an old an older version of it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, I love this block. I think it's so pretty. And um, so I just, I've been going back and rechecking just to make sure um, that I've got the right version because we went through all of this once, made all the corrections. So somewhere floating out there in the, the ether, the netherworld, is an actual full finished copy of this. And so we've had to go back and just figure out what happened to it. And 
we, we will get it all, all figured out. I think we're about to the end anyways. Two more blocks to go. We have two more blocks. Uh, next week is another usual block. I will say usual only because the one after that is going to require some extra stuff. You'll have extra pages that you will have to tape together. Um, and you will, you'll understand when you get it. I will make sure it comes in your Monday, not this one, but the next one, that it will come in your Monday um, uh, information. And of course, you'll get a copy. So when you get it, print it twice, one to keep with your pattern, um, and then one, one to use, okay? So you're only going to need your instructions, your block cutting instructions that I send separately. You're only going to need that once. But the other stuff, the finished pattern and the, um, the parts that you're going to have to together, you'll want to make a copy of those or print it twice. And it does have a register mark for like two to show you two inches. So make sure that you're checking that. And it is two inches because if, it, cut, if you, it is anything smaller or larger, then your block is going to be too big or too small. Good. All right, Miss Laura. Yay, yours is too large. That's a good thing because you've been dealing with them being too small. You're doing great. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. All right. Um, let's see. I won't keep you on any longer than we have to. We're already at an hour and a half almost. So I don't want to keep you on any longer. I just want to say thank you again. Thank you for being here with me today. Thank you for, you know, your patronage at my shop. Um, your Christmas gifts were lovely. Thank you so much. You know who you are. And I'm just so grateful for everything you guys have done for me. And, um, and the encouragement that you give me is unbelievably valuable to me. I hold that in my heart. It means so much. And I'm going to try not to be weepy here. But unfortunately, I'm just, um, I'm in a very emotional state um, with losing Nora. And that's all I'm going to say on that right now, because if I say too much, again, I will start bawling my eyes out, and I don't want to do that. Um, let's go ahead and pray. Oh, just there, just again, over my shoulder is the, um, the embroidery project we will be doing on the 20th at Miss uh, Claudine's sewing room. It's a beautiful piece. I love it. It actually works out fairly easy. Um, and it was a lot of fun. It has a couple of new techniques that we're going to be working on or kind of polishing up. And uh, because of the repetition, it's really cool. And you kind of get a much better grasp on it because you do it more than once. Um, so let me know if you'd like to join for the embroidery. You will have to bring your machine. Um, and again, you can contact me and find out, you know, more about that. You can uh, text me, email me, um, message me through here, whatever you, you know, whatever you need to do to get a hold of me and find out more about the embroidery class coming up on the 20th. Um, and in the meantime, you will get your, you should get your next uh, cutting instructions and the pattern finished and completed pattern for this block as well. All right, um, real quick, time for our prayer and then I'm gonna let you go. Are you ready? Here we go. Father, thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for love. Thank you for laughter. Thank you for the ability to hear a child laugh. Thank you for the grace that none of us deserve, but you give to us. Thank you for the time that you've given us to be with loved ones and to carry on. And I just give you all the honor and all the, all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Sorry, guys. Listen. I'm sorry. I'm a blubber. I can't help it. I have, like, leaking eye syndrome or something, you know? I just want to say thank you. Hug your loved ones. Love on them as much as you can. If you have a disagreement with anyone, find a way to make it right. Sometimes we can't, but at least we can tell them how much we love them. And then, you know, if that's all you can do, then that's all you can do. 
but make sure you have a chance to do it. We just never know how much time we have. And we need to make sure that we spend as much of it as we can loving, laughing, learning, and sharing. So make sure you share. Share with family. Share with friends. Pay it forward. Say a kind word. Pay for someone's food behind you in line at the McDonald's or the Chick-fil-A. Just show kindness. And it doesn't have to be something that's rewarded because you'll feel it. You'll feel it in your heart when you do it. Pay for a, a cup of coffee for somebody who can't buy a cup of coffee. Just pay it forward as much as you can because you just never know. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Sorry I did not need to be so solemn. And I hope that you have a wonderful week. And please feel free to reach out. Donna's here. She would love to say hello to you guys. Um, for any of you who have, um, uh, who know who Donna is, my best bud, who runs Sun and Moon um, Jewelry Market, Jewelry Market Auction. She'll be here for a few days, and I really look forward to spending some time with her. Um, I know it's it's much needed. It's been a while. Yes, I agree, Miss Jerry. Thank you for all my quilting friends, my extended family. You guys have been um, a whole nother area of my life that I never knew I could have and I'm for that I'm I am eternally grateful and I love y'all and you mean the world to me I hope you have a wonderful week and enjoy it and keep in touch and don't forget to send those blocks to me when you finish them so I can get them posted if I don't get them posted right away don't worry sometimes I'm just a bad place and I can get them up a little bit later um, but I love you guys Mwah.